Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, my channel. So today I'm doing a continuation to the last video that I posted about what it is I do to achieve a flawless makeup base for special occasions and the holidays. Today I'm just focusing on the eye. I did something a little bit on the simpler side, simple holiday look. Um, for those of us who want to look glam but want to keep it simple so it's basically a matte look just a little shimmer in it nothing crazy and that's the look that i came up with it's red it's sort of sultry and a little bit smoky and i love it and i kept my lips nude because you know me and balance you have to have balance when you're doing this i wore a red dress i just felt it looked really nice so if you want to see how i achieved this look let's hop to it oh one more thing please like comment and share and subscribe if you like the videos hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads it really helps and i really really appreciate it thank you so so much and please watch the video in its entirety campari and orange juice my favorite favorite drink of all time i'm late to it but i love it <laughs> Taking Dose of Colors Blushing Berries and Colourpop Squeeze Me Palettes. These are the two palettes I'll be using today. I'm starting with the Dose of Colors one. And all the names are to the back, so I don't know them, so I'll just point. You don't have to have that colors, but you know, the um the palette, but you can use colors similar. So I'm just applying this sort of light peachy color in my crease to act as my transition color to help blend the other colors that I'll be placing over top. This is a very simple look, so... I want something there to create depth and to make everything else blend easy, like I said before. Now I'm taking the ColourPop palette and I'm using this color that I do not know the name of. <laughs> if you have the palette, just follow along, look at the shades and use something similar. And I'm just applying that in my crease again with the same brush and buffing it in with the first color just to create more dimension and to make something a little more, you know, sturdy looking. <laughs> if that makes sense. Does it make sense? Taking the Dose of Colors palette and I'm taking this sort of reddish burgundy color. It's not an extremely bright red. It's just perfect to create the look that I want. And I'm tapping it on my lids first to get the pigment. That's something you always have to do with matte colors and this look is almost totally matte. And then I'm gonna take my time and buff the edges into the um, transition colors that I placed down before. This is, takes a little time. You have to pack and build. Like I always say, pack and build, it takes time. If you don't have time, just don't do it. Skip it altogether. I'm also applying that red on my bottom lashes and connecting it to the outer V of my eyes. I'm buffing it and blending it really well because I want it to look sort of smoky. Then I'm going to go over the edges again with that transition sheet that I started with and just blend everything together so that everything is diffused nicely. I took this color from um, the ColourPop palette and I'm, it's sort of a, a shimmer metallic color. I'm just popping it a little bit over my lids and then I'm going to attempt to create a wing. I started with my ColourPop BFF liner but it wasn't working well for me so I switched to using a gel liner my Morphe, not Morphe, Maybelline gel liner and I'm trying to do a wing on camera. Wings are very difficult to explain, just probably look and see. <laughs> and here I totally, totally failed at staying in the frame. <laughs> So I'm just applying some of that black in my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with that to make my lashes look fuller and so that there are no like spaces so you can see my skin in my eyes. I want everything to be sort of more smoky. Going back in with that palette and the sort of goalie color and I'm applying that in my, um, damn, my inner corners. I had a senior moment. What's going on with me today? my inner corners and sort of connecting it to the bottom of my eyes as well. I'm applying some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using my favorite Rimmel Lash Accelerator and I'm also going to apply to my top lashes to prep them for my lashes because I'm using thick lashes today. 
and I used the AOA lashes from Shop Miss A. One dollar. These lashes are bomb, and I applied them. So I lined my lip with ColourPop liner, BFF, my favorite BFF three, and I think I'm using here a Pixi liquid lip in Bear with me. I think I'll have everything in the description box so you can check it out. And um, I'm gonna go over top of that with my Mac Underage lip gloss. I chose to keep my lips nude to bring balance to my eyes. It's just the way to go. I hope you guys will try this look. I hope you got some ideas from it. And comment down below what are some of your favorite looks to do for the holidays? What looks do you like to go for? Glam, simple glam, no makeup? Just let me know. And check out my previous video on my base if you want to see how I accomplish my special event holiday makeup. All right, so a red sultry look. Very simple to achieve, very easy to achieve if you ask me. I will leave all the products I use in the description box. Don't forget to check out the first part of this video of where I did my base. I will link it in the iCards. I will also leave it in the description box so you can check that out. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Um, all my links to my social media will be in the description box on how to book me. I am a nail tech and a makeup artist here in Brooklyn. So check that out. Follow me there. See my work. So until then, let's continue to touch the world one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.